when you are explicitly maligning a group, a disadvantaged group in our society and inciting violence against that group, then I think you 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 don't have that right. That is not freedom of speech, of speech or freedom of expression. The CRTC is asking Canadians what we think of Fox News and if the station should stay on Canadian airwaves. It's in response to an open letter from EGAL Canada, an LGBTQIA plus advocacy group, which says what the network says about trans people has crossed a line. Anytime that you incite violence against a group in our society, that is not freedom of speech. That is, you've gone too far. The letter came after a Tucker Carlson segment naming EGAL Canada and Canadian trans activist Faye Johnstone as apologists for a mass shooting event carried out by a trans person. In Canada, a taxpayer-funded trans rights organization put out a statement that ignored the murder of the children in Nashville entirely and instead claimed there has been a, quote, exponential rise in anti-trans violence. That EGAL Canada statement wasn't in response to the Nashville shooting Carlson was talking about, and an internet archive version of the page dates it to five days before the shooting. Carlson isn't at Fox anymore, but CRTC consultations on the network are open. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association says it disagrees with removing Fox News, but says having consultations about it is reasonable. We can agree that that content is offensive and really problematic problematic, um, but still take issue with maybe the, the tactics or the approach to, to dealing with that, that kind of content. City News read the 161 public comments attached to the consultation so far. Of those, 114 opposed removing Fox News, 47 support removing it. Many supporting removal cited the lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems, which revealed Fox staff knew they were lying about the 2020 American election being rigged. Those opposed to removing it say that would be censorship and contrary to Canadian values. We know that the, the rights, the gains in rights that have been made by marginalized, traditionally marginalized groups, including the LGBTQ community, have been you know, fostered by their ability to express themselves, to protest, to speak out against injustice. And, um, you know, if you if you look at what's happening in the United States, um, we have the, the opposite problem, right? We have people who are saying we, we don't want to hear you talking about uh, being gay in schools. You know, we have these don't say gay laws. We have uh, attempts to ban books, to ban literature that expose students to ideas that that some people find concerning or um, or offensive. And so we, we need to be really careful. In Ottawa, Shaolili City News.